Hey, this is Walk and Talk 224. It's about 5.16 a.m. Sun will be up in another 30 minutes or so. We're talking about uh, who's lying. Can you spot a liar? Are you able to detect a lie? There's a verse in the Bible, Proverbs chapter 8, verse 9, that talks about straightforward talking or plain talking. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 9 says, They are all straightforward to him who understands and right to those who find knowledge. So, truth is plain. Truth is understandable. Truth is straightforward. When you consider politicians, when you consider what you hear in the news, uh, regular print news or social media news or politicians or uh, someone's talking about something, trying to sell you something, I'm going to suggest to you, you can spot lies, you can identify a lie. I'll give you some practical suggestions. Uh, Number one, uh, the Bible is saying truth is straightforward. So lies are words or statements confusing. You don't understand. So if you're looking to spot a lie, oftentimes there's someone who's spinning a conversation, someone who's using words that don't make sense. So the practical suggestion is clarity. Truth is understandable. A lie is confusing, doesn't make sense. So I'm just encouraging you that as you as you live your life, when you speak, be straightforward. In other words, don't spin it. Someone once used the word diatribe. Uh, don't, don't just pontificate. Be clear and precise. The Bible is simply saying in Proverbs chapter 8, verse 9, they are all straightforward to him who understands and right to those who find knowledge. That's speaking of truth. The opposite of truth is a lie. So, simply, listen for clarity and you'll find the truth. But when confusion, when someone is spinning it, when someone is distorting the truth, it will be Confusing. Simple suggestion. Uh, When someone is talking and you don't understand, don't assume they're lying. When someone's talking and you don't understand, ask questions. Just simply say, can I ask a question? And typically, uh, a simple question like, can, can you say that in another way? Can you clarify what you are saying? Many times, uh, p- 
people are not aware that they're not telling the truth. It may not be an outright lie. It could be. They're just not saying what they're thinking. So by asking a simple question, can you say it another way? Can you help me understand what you're saying? Or I don't understand. And if they restate it in different terms, there's a good chance you might help them think better, clearer, and you might understand. So another simple suggestion. Uh, be cautious when you don't understand some, what someone is saying. When, when it's not clear to you, when it's not straightforward, when it's not plain to you, just be cautious. Uh, oftentimes, people uh, don't understand math-related content. Uh, people are just not quick with math. And people can use math data in a conversation to uh, leverage, to power over. And people automatically think they're telling the truth when, A, they may not know what they're saying, and B, it may be inaccurate math. So be aware if it's not clear to you or when someone's talking and you don't understand, especially if it's related to math, then it's not straightforward. It takes extra careful communication to walk in the truth and oftentimes people are spinning politicking saying it in a way to advance an agenda truth should be straightforward. You should understand what someone else is saying. Let me give you a practical suggestion. The word understanding could simply mean I get it. That makes sense to me. It, it makes sense to you perhaps, but when you're hearing it, if it doesn't make sense, if you don't understand it, then just simply put a pause. Understanding something may be quick. You may understand it as soon as they say it, or it may take a while in a dialogue to understand something. The, the Bible is simply saying... When it says they are all, Proverbs 8, 9, they are all straightforward to him who understands. It's simply saying that you should hear it and grasp it. If you can't hear it, if you can't comprehend, then there's a good chance there's distortion. May not be a lie, but there's a good chance that you're not going to understand. You're going to misunderstand. And by simply entering into a dialogue, don't be afraid, a simple suggestion. You can spot a lie if someone is unwilling to dialogue. If someone 
loses patience or someone doesn't want to have a civil conversation, you're probably not going to understand what they're saying. And someone who doesn't want to take the time to help you understand, good chance. They're walking not in the truth, but walking close to a lie or in a lie. In this walk and talk, I'm simply suggesting that as you, uh, as you work with people, you can spot lies because the Bible is saying in Proverbs 8, 9, they are all straightforward to him who understands. When somebody says the truth, it's straightforward, it's plain, you get it, you understand it. And the Bible goes on to say, and, and write to those who have knowledge. Truth is based upon facts. Truth is based upon knowledge. A lie is a distortion of knowledge of facts. A lie manipulates the data. I'm encouraging you, as you live your life, you can spot a lie by understanding the facts. Be patient. Facts can be slow to, to comprehend. But the Bible is simply saying, write to those who find knowledge. If you don't have a factual base, if you don't have knowledge, truth based upon facts, then there's a good chance you could be or they could be distorting or lying. A, a lie is a distortion of knowledge, a distortion of the facts. A fact is not disputable. A fact gives you truth about a subject. I'm encouraging you that you can spot your own lies, you can spot the lies of others, but you gotta make sure you're building off of a foundation of factual knowledge. We go through life and oftentimes we're in a rush and our information, our knowledge, our facts about a topic could be incomplete. They could be misinterpreted. Have you noticed you can talk to five different accountants uh, CPAs and get different opinions? Have you noticed you can go to different doctors and get different opinions? Have you noticed you can talk to different attorneys, lawyers, and get different opinions? You, have you noticed you can talk to different politicians and get different opinions? Simply, the knowledge base is different and the agenda is different. Facts, the knowledge has to be clearly understood in order for you to speak the truth or to spot a lie. In this walk and talk, I'm just simply suggesting live in the truth. That means you have to know the facts Preferably before you say anything, and preferably when someone else is speaking, they're going to allow you to ask questions, to enter into a dialogue. This can be time-consuming, but if, if you want to live in truth, if you want to spot a lie, if you don't want to be deceived, take time to to build a knowledge base that's based upon facts. 
not lies. That means take time to do your research, ask questions, be patient with yourself, be patient with others. Don't jump to conclusions. Simple uh, suggestion, if you want to spot a lie, listen longer. If you want to live in the truth, be more patient with yourself and people who are talking. Because the longer people talk, perhaps it'll be clearer, more understandable, straightforward, and you'll get it or they'll get it. Many times we get impatient with our thinking, our fact gathering. We get impatient with people around us because they don't get it or we get frustrated at our ourselves because of A, B, C, or D. Be patient. Remember that as you live your life, you have the privilege of asking questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions. You can spot a liar if they don't want you to ask questions. It's, it's interesting with politicians or people being interviewed you can watch them in the middle of a conversation. They're just not interested in answering the questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to be patient. Listen well. Let me give you a, another practical suggestion. When, when the Bible says, Proverbs 8, 9, they are all straightforward to him who understands and right to those who find knowledge when you operate in truth there's a sense of security and peace because you understand when you operate in a lie or when somebody else operates in a lie you you will notice the lack of peace, the insecurity. So when you're stressed, it, it could be because you're, you're not understanding what's going on. There's a lack of clarity. It's not straightforward, the circumstance. I'm encouraging you in this walk and talk to take your life and as you work with people around you, slow it down, allow your, your, yourself to go a little bit slower because sometimes it doesn't make sense. But when you slow it down and ask questions, you'll discover the truth or a lie. Let me offer another practical suggestion. Truth doesn't change. Lies are constantly changing. Truth is always truth. A fact is always a fact. It's what we do with the facts. We omit some facts and we keep other facts. That's a selecting of knowledge to advance an agenda. But when you accept truth, you accept all the facts. So when you're trying to spot a lie, some people will omit, will leave out certain facts because they're advancing an agenda. If you're in a conversation and pe people don't say all of the facts, all of the truth, you might ask, simply say, are there other facts involved? What else 
should we know? Are there other factors? Many times it's called selective uh, hearing. Sometimes it's a prejudicial point of view. You may have heard that people are blinded sometimes or blind spots. We come to a, a dialogue with someone. We are in a conversation and people leave out certain facts based upon their own prejudice, their own bias, their own selection of an outcome. That's not right. It should be based upon knowledge. That's what the verse is saying. Based upon the facts. Certain facts should not be omitted just to advance a personal agenda. And it should be clearly understood. Listen to the verse again. Proverbs 8, 9. They are all straightforward to him who understands and right to those who find knowledge. When you're in a dialogue, when you're trying to spot truth or a lie, it should be straightforward. The conversation, straightforward. If you're not understanding it, ask questions. Be patient. Hopefully the, the people involved will answer questions. If they won't, then it, and it's not straightforward and you don't understand it, there's a good chance there's some bias going on. There's some prejudice going on. There's some uh, judicial prejudice, some judicial preference. There's a lie in there. In this Walk and Talk, September 5th, Walk and Talk 224, you can spot a lie in your own thinking or someone else you can spot their lies how simply suggesting when someone speaking yourself or others is is it straightforward the words the ideas the concepts is it built on all the facts is the plain truth being stated or is there a, a modification going on is there selective processing is the data biased or the facts being presented not all the facts sometimes we hear of in a criminal case or a courtroom or a judge who will say you left out the facts or you didn't present all of the evidence you can spot a lie if you'll be patient with yourself you need to make sure you can understand the speech the words the message the message should be straightforward if someone's spinning it you, you probably have got some some lies in there sometimes a lie is called a half truth part of it sounds good but part of it is is not the truth it's a lie in this walk and talk speak the truth only the truth be patient with yourself, be patient with others, and make sure that you understand yourself or you understand someone else. This understanding needs to be based upon solid facts. And when you find facts, new facts that you didn't know before, consider that and evaluate the facts. Knowledge 
the facts of life based upon the Bible as determined by God never change. Plain truth from God, from the Bible, never changes. But when you find someone spinning it, you're confused, you don't understand, or you can see a clear contradiction of the facts, you probably have identified some lies. And I'm simply saying be patient with the lies, the liar, and start asking questions. And if they don't want to answer the questions and they don't want to consider more facts, good chance you spotted a lie. Good chance you have discovered a liar. This is Walk and Talk 224. It's September 5th. Uh, I hope as you live your life, you you live with understanding and clarity and facts and peace because you're operating in the truth, not a lie. You're not blindsided. You're not, you don't have your own blind spots. You're not trying to deceive. You're trying to live in the truth because when you live in the truth, you'll be at peace. When you get rid of the confusion, stress will disappear. When you see the real problem, when you get clarity, everything is improved. We invite you to worship with us this coming Sunday. Um, we have a 9.30 and a 11 o'clock worship service. We have Bible classes for all ages Sunday morning. Uh, we're working our way through the Beatitudes, and I would just encourage you to join us. We invite you to be a part of one of our weekday or Sunday morning Bible classes for singles, for uh, older folks, for married couples, young and old, for women, for men, for co-ed, First Baptist Church, Tempe, Arizona, 4525 South McClintock. We're on the south side of US 60 on the east corner, southeast corner of US 60 and McClintock. Uh, join us to study the Bible, uh, to live in the truth and be able to spot a lie and graciously ask questions about that lie. Be patient with yourself and be patient with others. But living in the truth is liberating. Living in a lie puts you in bondage. Have a great one.